Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name's Gianni. I help women heal from infidelity and find their wholeness again. I have been gone for so long, but I'm so excited to be with you in these new videos that I'm posting on my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I help women heal from infidelity and um, just be happy, whole, complete women again. In today's video, I wanna talk about identity. Another way to say this is self-concept, and this is the concept you hold of yourself, so who you believe yourself to be. And this is very important when it comes to healing in your life, when it comes to um, getting to the next level. And the reason I say this is because you can be doing everything right in terms of your healing journey, you're probably already reading all the books, you're probably doing the meditations, you're going to therapy perhaps, trying everything and nothing's working. You're still stuck, you're still frustrated, you're still hurting um, and broken. And so this is the key to everything. So who do you consider yourself to be in terms of relationship? Are you good at relationships? Are you the woman who's lucky, who everyone showers her with love and attention? Or are you the woman who gets ignored, who doesn't have a voice, who gets overlooked? Are you the woman who is popular, who has lots of friends, who sought out and sought after people want to be around you? Or do you feel alone? Do you feel isolated? Do you feel abandoned, rejected by everyone? Right? These are concepts that we hold of ourselves. You feel like a priority in your life. Or do you feel like everyone puts you in second or last place? These are identities that we hold ourselves to. So when we have that identity of ourselves, we're always going to experience experiences that confirm that to us because that is the meaning we give to everything. For example, when you think about you compared to someone else, do you automatically put yourself in a lower position? Sometimes we think that, well, it's a fact, it's the truth. She's prettier, she's more this, she has more of that. But no one is doing that to you but you. And so part of the healing journey, I would say the most important healing journey is changing your identity, changing who you think you are. Because you're always going to act in accordance to who you think you are. If you're not a healthy person, you don't have healthy habits, right? You're not going to get the end result of being healthy. That's what you think it takes to get healthy, right? If you have the identity of a healthy person, it doesn't matter if you have a baby, for example, right? You know that you're going to get back to your normal, natural, healthy habits and the weight is going to fall right off. So it's about your identity or you can be the person who has the identity of a fat person and so no diet works. No matter what you do, your identity has to remain the same. So maybe you lose a few pounds, but you have to work really, really hard, right? Because you're fighting literally against who you are. And then you might have one piece of bread and it all comes flooding back. At least it seems like that. Or you might have the identity of someone who just fails that thing. Nothing ever works out. No matter what you do, things don't work out. So those things are real. Changing your identity is real. And nothing is set in stone the only person who can change it and and make new decisions is you so you can decide today who you want to be so make a list of your current identity are you rejected are you abandoned are you lonely cross them out and replace it with who you ideally want to be i want to be successful i'm loved by everyone i'm well taken care of i'm chosen i'm preferred i'm loved all those things and you have to start affirming to yourself all those new things, replacing your old self-concept with a new one so that you can get new results in your life. And yeah, it's going to feel like you're lying to yourself because if, you're, if you've been telling yourself that you're stupid for 20, 30 years, when you start saying, no, you know what? I think I'm actually pretty smart. I've done this. I've done that. I've learned this. Anything I don't know, I can learn. I can Google it, right? When you start talking to yourself differently, your mind's going to be like, nah, -uh, you don't mean that. This is something new, right? But you just keep persisting. You just keep telling yourself your new story about who you are. And you will see that eventually you'll believe it if you don't give up. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And if you're interested in working with me as a one-on-one -on -one client, 
The link to book a session is down in the description box. Thank you.